to our citizens wishing to be heard, uh, our first citizen is Janice Monaco. Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Good evening. My name is Janice Monaco. Can you speak into the mic just a little bit? My name is Janice Monaco. My address is Bermuda Run Drive in Valdosta. And I'm here to bring concern regarding the 2023 property tax assessment. Why are we paying an outside concern to assess our properties? Isn't that your job? Both my city councilman and the county tax assessor told me assessments are done in quadrants. Assessments aren't done back to back to each quadrant. It is usually several years before a quadrant is assessed. Yet we've been assessed two years in a row. I want to know why. Our town councilman told me this is highly unusual that values change normally every three to five years. Why doesn't the homestead extent exemption increase at the same percent as the tax assessment? Why do others, other counties give seniors a break on school taxes and Lyons County does not? If, if not paying the full assessment for school taxes, at the very most, seniors should pay a percentage of 50%, or less, hopefully. The average sale of my development is 318,500. This year, I'm assessed at 382,352. That is 34,217 higher than 22. In 22, my assessment went from 3079, which was the sale price, to $348,136. That is a $40,236 increase. This is a total of $74,453 in two years. I want to know why. I want to know how these numbers are calculated. With these tax increases, what are we getting for our money? I don't see anything. I have to say, we moved here two and a half years ago. And I'm sorry we chose here to move to. At this rate of increase in taxes, we'll be paying what we paid in New York. Should have stayed. Any answers to my questions? Or do I have to wait? We normally don't have any comments, but if you'll hang around after the meeting, I'll be glad to talk to you about it. All right, thank you very much.